Alrighty, hey guys, welcome back. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to build the UP-1943, the spirit of the Union Pacific. So the main difference between this and the and the, and the thing is obviously the type of locomotive and that it's a heritage. So again, like I did, I used a bed instead of I used a bed instead of what I used to do. I used to just have a smooth quartz block there, but it's actually twin lights, so we added that. Um, I used an iron trap door with a debug stick. I'll show you guys how to get that. I also, I don't know if it's here. I think I'm going to change these uh, to the deep slate. Uh, because uh, it's really dark. Actually, I think Deep Slate's a little too dark. Alrighty, so I'm editing the video and I realized that I need to make this Deep Slate. So what I'm going to do is at the end of the video, I'm going to show you guys how to modify this to Deep Slate. Or I'll show you guys what you guys need to modify to Deep Slate. But uh, I also used Smooth Quartz for the Stripe Across. Uh, I made one nine four three in the banners, and uh, one thing that's different from the SG seventy ace and the SD seventy eight H is firstly the H is is uh, compliant with tier four emissions, some with tier three, but most of them with tier four. They have a little window here, and. Uh, they also have little stripes going across it. And instead of the flag being raised up, it's lowered down. So I'll show you one of my other builds. So as you can see, I'm going to show you on 1111. See, it's raised up here. The slab's under o over it. But it's lowered down in this one because of this headlight here. I also added in the pressure plates with the stairs for the exhaust. I also improved the flag design and I also improved on my uh, camo design. So it's probably the hardest part about it. So, uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the new design. And let's get started. So first off, we're going to, well, I'm going to, because I'm, I like to have my tracks fully aligned. There we go. So first off, I'm going to grab some materials. We're going to take out polished diorite stairs. Slab wall, a uh, dark oak slab, fence gate, chain block, acacia fence gate, smooth quartz slab, end rod, and uh, that's all we can fit for right now. So, I'm gonna build plow here, so polished diorite stairs in the middle, cornered on the side of it, upside down on the edge, acacia fence gate here in the middle, and open that up facing outwards, to the side of that we're going to add in right side up polished diorite stairs, and upside down on the side of it. But add in dark oak slab in front of the acacia fence gate, dark oak fence gate underneath, and to the side of those fence gates, open them up. Chains to the side of the dark oak slab. And uh, we're gonna need a. Uh... You know what? No, not right now. We're gonna take out diorite wall, add that in like this. 
with I'm gonna try a new thing. We're gonna put an end rod on top of it. The chain in the middle of that. All right, so now we're gonna take out clay and a birch fence gate. And a pop, so we're gonna polish die right stairs here in the middle. Three blocks wide of clay. Birch fence gate to the side of that stairs. Two polished diorite slabs for the stairwell. Oh, and I forgot to mention on my other design I used andesite, but I realized that it's too dark, so I used diorite. Even though it kind of looks white, it's like a light gray. But uh, yeah, I forgot to mention that. Polished generate slab in the middle. Smooth quartz slabs on the edge of that. We're gonna now add in this item frame with smooth quartz block. So, item frame, smooth quartz block inside. All right, so now Actually, we're going to get rid of those. We'll take out a birch fence. Add it in on top of it, of those diorite walls. And got an end rod going up, and then one right over here. And we're also going to add one right over here. One right on top of this stairs here. In fact, we're just going to leave it for now. Same thing on the other side. All right. We could actually just add that in right over here. All right. So hard, so much detail just for the plow. So I believe that's it. Yep, so. Now let's get started on the trucks. So we're going to take out this uh, gray terracotta, a dark oak stairs, a hopper. Uh, so, oh, actually, and then we're going to take out a nether brick block, nether brick stairs. And then another brick slab. So first off, what we're going to do is we're going to add in another brick stairs facing towards the front. Upside down. Another brick block. Another brick slab. Another brick stairs facing upside down facing towards the front. Another brick block. Another brick slab, and then another brick stairs facing towards the front upside down. Another brick block, and then a birch fence gate right over there. So now we're going to take out a gray terracotta, add that in, upside down dark oak stairs, hopper. We'll do that two more times, and again. Like that. Same thing over here. All right. So now we're going to add in. Now we're going to take out a uh, clay block on a diorite wall. Add in two by three of clay, one in the middle here, two by three, one in the middle, then another two by three with one with like that. Add diorite walls on top of all the hoppers. It's another new design change change I'm making. I used to have them here, but on the and I did that over there too, but 
actually realize that that's not completely accurate. So, of course, that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to make it accurate. So, I'm going to add hoppers to the sides of all these terracottas. Birch fence gates to the sides of all these stairs. And in the back here, we're going to add one. Crouch down to place it and open it up. Like that. Now we're going to take out polished diorite slab. Add that in front of the first two hoppers. Crouch down to place it. All right. So now we're going to take out uh, polished diorite stairs. Add that to the front here. Add a polished diorite slab. So block two slabs, block two slabs. Here we're gonna add the top slab. And on this one, we're gonna add in a wither skeleton skull. Right over here. And then on the other side, we're gonna add in a slab, block two slabs, can block two slabs. Just like on the other side, we're gonna add in a top one. And uh, we're gonna add in a skeleton skull. Instead of a wither skeleton skull, just a skeleton skull. Alright. So now, we're nearly done, we're just going to add in a polished direct slab right there. So now we're done with the truck, so now we're going to make the fuel tank. So, we're going to, it's going to pretty much be the same design from the 7021. So, uh, add in a 2 by 3 Two by three here of clay. I'm gonna polish diorite stairs upside down next to that. And I'm gonna use world edit here. And we're gonna make it we're gonna make it twelve long. Like that. So on this side, I'm going to add in stairs, two, three, four, five. So then we're going to add in five stairs over here. So one, two, three, four, five, skip three, and then add in all the way across on the other side. We're going to come to the back here. We're going to do five again skip a block and then these slabs now we're going to take out a birch fence gate and over here we're going to add in three on the other side we're going to add in one open that up all right so now what we're going to do is we're going to copy everything that we did in the front here from this coupler all the way to here we're going to paste that on the other side but before we do that I just need to add in this iron trap door right on top of these birch fence gates. So just to speed up time, I'm gonna use world edit. Copy it here. And if you've got a world editor, you can just follow exactly what I'm doing here. One thing that we are going to do is I'm just going to add this slab here in the middle. Like that. Just so I can gonna flip it. I'll put a link to world edit down in the description. We're going to paste it. Alright, and there we go. So in the back here, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to come right over here. We're going to delete this. And we're going to add in a polished blackstone brick slab. That's an upper slab. On this side, we're going to delete this, add in a birch fence gate, open that up on top of that. 
I'm gonna delete this here, add in an iron trap door, both sides. And uh, we're gonna also delete this plow here. Also gonna delete this, just make that birch fence like so. Delete those and delete this polished iron slab here in the middle. Make this end rod three blocks tall here, like that. Okay, so we're gonna take out smooth quartz slab. We're gonna come over here. We're gonna skip three right on the other side of this and we're going to add in smooth quartz slabs all the way across to the back same thing over here And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here and right on top of where this first slab is, we're gonna delete this and then acacia slab. So that happened on the other side. Yep. I'll just line it up with this first block of the fuel tank, delete that acacia slab. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna build the cab. So we're gonna we're gonna start off with clay block, dark prismarine slab. A block of lapis lazuli, a warped slab, a TNT, a birch fence gate, an end rod, a birch button. That's all we're going to take out for right now. So first off, we're going to add in five blocks wide of clay. Add a TNT inlay here, the warped slab in front of it block of lapis lazuli to the side with a dark prismarine slab to the side of that birch button in front of this lapis lazuli don't press it unless you want the tnt to explode which i highly don't recommend and uh yeah and uh oh i forgot let's take out a polished diorite stairs and uh we're gonna make a two by three here pallet of a clay we're gonna make a polished diorite stairs two of them with the front one we're gonna make that one cornered add in two blocks tall of birch fence gates here and rod to the side of that and to the side of this button That. We're gonna now we're gonna take out another birch button. Actually, we're just gonna add that right there. We're gonna take out this white bed and an item frame. Add in an item frame here with a white bed inside. Right, and uh, we can add in birch button right here two blocks wide of this like uh, actually no we're just gonna leave it like that no we don't need this actually we could just add in three blocks wide of this light gray carpet take out black glass pane and light gray glass pane so a gray glass pane here black glass panes to the side of it so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take out this black stained glass birch fence gate iron trap door polished diorite stairs forgot to add in an iron bar i see so we're gonna take that out iron bars quickly add that in there 
so um, now we're gonna come back here and make a T shape here of uh, clay. Add in two blocks wide here of this black stain loss block. Iron bars to the side of it. Next to that, we're gonna add in a birch fence gate. Open that up outwards. Gonna add in a polished diorite stairs facing towards the front, and then two facing outwards behind it. I'll fix that there in a second. Right, same thing up here. Like that. And we're gonna add in an iron trap door right over here. And now we're gonna get a debug stick. So you're gonna do this command slash give, then your username, and you're gonna type in debug stick. It should come right here. Click that, and you'll get a debug stick inventory gonna left click that till it says open false and then you're just gonna right click that and you don't have to do the left click you can just right click this one and there you go we're gonna now add in a two by three of this uh black concrete add in a we're gonna take out birch sign light gray carpet dark oak sign so you can add dark oak sign you can put in 1943 add that one right here and then diagonally to the side of that hope to see 1943 soon I really love that one Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take out a clay, red concrete, so add in a clay, red concrete, clay, same thing over here, clay, red concrete, clay, then we're going to take out a block of lapis lazuli, add that in behind this uh, dark prismarine slab thing on the other side and we're gonna go diagonally down and another one like that and in this nook we're gonna add in warp slab with a T and T behind that I believe that says a uh, I think I think that says uh I think that's a UP logo. Birch button to the side of this lapis lazuli. Again, don't press it unless you want the TNT to explode. In that case, do it, but I don't recommend you do that. And add polished blackstone brick. That's gonna go diagonally from that lapis with the birch button so right over there add in clay here that nook and we're gonna add in another clay right over here on the other side uh, we're, not, we're not gonna have this this is just gonna be clay so now I'm gonna show you guys how to make this banner unless if you don't know which I've made a million times so I Kind of know by heart, but I have to do it. I have to show you. So we're going to take out the loom, black banner, and two light gray dyes. So add in our loom here, put in a black banner, light gray dye border around it. 
and light gray dye going across the bottom half. Simple as that. Add that to the back of the cab, like so. And I'll show you guys how to make the 1943 banners at the end of the video. That's weird. Right, and if you guys want, what y'all can do is y'all can take out a glow ink sack. I can make that glow right there. So I believe that's pretty much it for the cab. So we're gonna move on to the body here in a sec. All right, so now that we have done this, what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna work on this part from here. All the way to, all the way to the beginning of the flag so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take out some materials uh, which is red concrete gray, co gray cyan terracotta stone brick slab acacia slab hold on a sec chase wants to say hi All right, uh, polished diorite stairs, polished andesite stairs, acacia stairs, and that's all for right now. So, first off, right to, to the side of this, we're going to add three blocks wide of this uh, red concrete and we're gonna build a uh, one half of it till we get to to the flag and then we're gonna do the other side so just a note and what we're gonna do is we're gonna add it actually let's now we're gonna add in polished diorite stairs two of them like this acacia stairs and then a polished stain side stairs facing towards the front Play underneath that all the way to right over here with the red concrete here. We're gonna come, we're gonna add in a stone brick slab here. Actually, not a stone brick slab. We're gonna add in a diorite, polished diorite slab. And then the acacia slab. Then two, four, five stone brick slabs. Behind this acacia slab, we're going to add red concrete. As you can see, it comes like. As you can see, it comes down like at a diagonal all right this nook here we're gonna add in clay behind this uh diorite slob and then cyan terracotta it's gonna go behind that all the way till the end of those slobs all right next we're gonna add in two Cyan terracottas with two polished blackstone bricks on top. Come up over here on top of these, adding two. Again, right over here. Gray cyan terracotta, excuse me. Add that all around it. Add that around it. And, uh,. We're also going to add in a clay block underneath this uh, diorite slab, then a red concrete underneath, then cyan terracotta. So we've got that thin little stripe here. And we're going to take out 
Birch button, Keisha button. I don't know. Birch button right below the stairs here. Keisha button right next to this red concrete. All right. And now we're going to add three block three blocks wide here of this Keisha buttons. So now what we're going to do is we're going to move off to the other side. Yeah. I'm going to do that. So what we're going to do is oh, we're going to take out red concrete, polished diorite slab, stone brick stairs, clay. Actually, that's it for right now. So we're going to add in the stone brick stairs right next to this red concrete. Red concrete underneath it. And we're just going to make that da go diagonally down. Right, like that. All before that, we're pretty much just going to add in clay. Here, we're going to delete these three, add in clay on the inside. Take out, we're going to take out a light gray glass pane. Add them in blocks like this. And uh, what we're gonna do is we're now on top of this, on top of these, we're gonna add in acacia buttons, three. And then I believe an acacia slab right on top of this one. And why not on top of that one? I think we're gonna, oh, that's weird. I don't know why this one's gone here. I don't know, but I'm just going to add that in here, that, all right, then we're going to take out cyan terracotta, polished black stone button, birch button, stone button, so we're going to add in two cyan terracotta skip two add in one here add in these two polished black stone bricks and what we're gonna do is we're gonna now take what is, where is this here we are this gray carpet add on top of that stairs and these like so and we're gonna add it in we're gonna make these buttons for long so like that. And we're also gonna take out this gray glass pane. Add two right here. Okay. With a polished black stone button and a, and a polished black stone button here. Birch button next to it. And uh, we're gonna fill I'm gonna come over here, go down. And we're gonna fill this all in with uh, cyan terracotta. Like so. So now, what we're gonna add is we're gonna add in two birch buttons right here, an acacia button down like that so they should be like that but uh, no acacia button here actually take out uh let's see polished diorite slab add in three here and a daylight detector right there all right, so now we're gonna move on to the back here. This is all this camo, just wanna get that over with. So we're gonna take out warped fence. We're gonna change these birch into a warped. Right over here. And now we're gonna take out a lapis lazuli. 
a polished blackstone brick, a warped slab, a clay, polished diorite stairs, warped trap door. And that's all for right now. So first off, what we're gonna do, so we're gonna come here in the middle, add in a block of lapis lazuli, then two blocks of polished blackstone brick. And then we're gonna add in a warped slab right over here, the clay behind it, lapis lazuli on top with uh and then we're gonna add in a white bed and an item frame in front of the slab we're gonna make that go so it's horizontal and a polished blackstone button Uh, yeah, I'm fine right now. I just wasn't. I was sick yesterday, and I have and I had a fever yesterday. So I'm just waiting till I have 24 hours. <sighs> right. So. Uh, all right. So now what we're gonna do is uh we're gonna now do uh one half of it because uh. But then we're going to do the other side, so it's very asymmetrical. So we're going to take out right now this polished diorite stairs, warped trap door, dark oak fence gate, polished blackstone brick slab, polished blackstone brick, a clay, a TNT, a warped slab, and the smooth sandstone here so we're gonna place a polished direct stairs here blackstone brick right over here warp trap door on top with a poly with a polished direct slab here with a blackstone brick slab in front of that two by three of a Polished blackstone brick. Top in the middle, we're gonna add in a TNT warp slab in front of it. And then next to it, we're gonna add in a clay block, make that two blocks tall. And we make this little L shape like that. Actually, no, not. We're just gonna leave it two blocks tall. With a smooth sandstone here in the middle. I'm gonna add in bedrock and a stone button and a birch button so we're gonna add two bedrocks here stone buttons like this and then birch buttons on a diagonal like this one right over here okay now we're gonna make this little top section so we're gonna need smooth sandstone stairs spruce stairs oxidized cut copper stairs a green wool spruce trap door daylight detector birch trap door warp trap door and a warp stairs, so first off we're gonna make two blocks wide here to remove these smooth sandstone stairs. And uh what we're gonna do is we're actually we're gonna actually let's just make this middle part so we're gonna add Two spruce planks. Green wool. Sp 
spruce planks. Spruce plank. Two green walls. Like that. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take out this spruce stairs, add in two right over here. Then a oxidized cut copper stairs, another spruce stairs, two smooth sandstone stairs, and then a warped stairs. Then add in one facing the inside like that. All right, and now, and the, since the side is pretty much nearly the exact same, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pretty much, we're just gonna mirror this, but with a couple of differences. So let me just go ahead and do this quickly. slab okay and one of the main differences and pretty much the only difference here is that we're gonna change this blackstone brick slab to another brick slab I think that's pretty much the major changes major changes there yep Forgot to add in the forgot to add in the dark oak fence gate. Turn that up on either side. Alright. So I think that's really it. With that. Yep. Alright. So now we're gonna just add in another smooth sandstone stairs. Two spruce, skip a block spruce, two sandstone, we're gonna add this here, like that, actually, what we're gonna need to do is this is, we're gonna actually extend this by one block. Because it's not supposed to be there. It's supposed to be out here. My fault. My fault. Y'all can get mad at me. I don't really care. Okay. So what we're going to do is, is we're going to replace... We're going to leave this spruce stairs but now we're gonna add in like this little plus sign shape of these spruce planks and then over here and delete this add in a smooth sandstone that three blocks wide here and we're gonna delete that here and this is all we're gonna do is we're also gonna just gonna make these uh spruce stairs and these uh what are these oxidized cut copper stairs those are gonna be cornered those are gonna be facing back to back because they disagree with each other and oxidized cut copper stairs on the edge the side of this also back to back because they don't want to see each other because they got in an argument so and of course lady starts barking of all times so and then we're just gonna add that here and there we go so as you can see it's a very colorful locomotive hence why i like it and right and what we're gonna do here so on top of this spruce plank, we're going to add a daylight detector, make that blue. And right on top of this sandstone, make that one blue. To the side of this, we're pretty much going to add in like these three right here. 
I'm gonna take out warp trap door and birch trap door. I don't know, warp trap door here, spruce trap door here, two birch trap doors, another warped. Keep hydrated, guys. I think that's that's one of the main things that's making me not feel well. I'm constantly thirsty. That's just I always thirsty. And now we're gonna add in these netherrick stairs to the chips. And uh, polished blackstone brick stairs. Add that. Like so. Alright, so now we're gonna get to the fun part. Hooray! I think we're gonna first do this, so. Yeah, let's do that first, I think. Yeah. So we're gonna do this bit, like this middle bit here. Do that before. So what we're gonna do is we're now gonna take out a clay and we're just gonna line the interior up with clay all the way till we get to here. It's gonna be a red concrete and then we're just gonna have gray concrete. And yeah, we did that on the other side. So, ooh, that's a problem. And uh, so we're gonna, have, of course, have to break this. Acacia slab, delete. Delete. Right. Yep. Delete. Polish diorite. Acacia. Are there two acacias? Huh, for some reason. Hmm, that's weird. We're actually just going to move that anyway, so now we're going to take out stone brick slabs all the way like that. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add in another column of this cyan terracotta, one in the middle. Or actually, it's, there's not going to be one in the middle. Then we're going to add in two with this one nothing in it now we're gonna add in stone brick stairs here and then three blocks wide in front of it polished black stone button if behind the stairs with uh, some pressure plates right over here now we're gonna add in this A little middle section so we're gonna add in two uh, stone brick slabs dark oak fence gate and then I'm gonna extend it so three so, uh, cyan terracotta underneath this fence gate and chase has come to visit once again Jeez, you are so impossible He's just one of he's just one of the more impossible dogs, so why did I just think like of a I just imagined like a movie Impossible Dogs edition <laughs> Chase would be the star of the show. And probably me if there was an impossible child. Like I would because I can act like a complete little baby. That would be, <laughs> and <laughs> anyway, <coughs> we're gonna. I'm not f <laughs> on this last one here. We're gonna add in a uh, black concrete. <laughs> oh God! All right, block of lapis lazuli, birch button, this brick slab, TNT. Brick stairs, stone brick stairs, 
a dark purple slot, but I will be back in a second because I have to take my temperature right now. Which you may or may not know, I'm sick home. That is why I have my Gotta hope that I don't have a fever again. Hooray! I have a fever! It looks like I'm staying home from school again tomorrow. Ugh. I hate this. Anyway. So besides me having to stay home from school for five days, I'm doing great. I'm really upset right now. But anyway, so I'm going to add two lapis lazulis, three brick slabs, four TNTs. TMT inside here with a dark prismarine slab in front. I done two birch buttons on this uh, uh, lapis lazuli. We're gonna come down into this nook here. And we're gonna add in a, ups a right side up brick stairs. Right over here upside down behind it, a TNT, a brick slab, all right, brick slab here, another TNT, and a brick stairs upside down facing towards the front. And then down over here, all we're gonna do is we're just gonna come down here and uh, stone brick stairs facing towards the back. And we're just gonna fill this all in. Except for that here, we're gonna add the stone brick stairs facing upside down, facing towards the back, both sides. So now we're gonna copy it. So two lapis lazulis. Birch buttons, brick slabs, TNT, dark prismarine slab. All right, so, so all right, I'm just still getting over this, but anyhow, I'm pretty much just gonna come right under this slab here, add in stairs facing towards the back, upside down. In front of that, stairs facing towards the front. TNT, slab, TNT, and a stairs facing towards the back. Stone brick stairs here. with the uh, gray concrete like so. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna cover all this up with gray carpet. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna <coughs> We're gonna work over here. So we're gonna clear my inventory right now and take out green wool. My God, my nose is congested. Light gray terracotta, dark oak button, sandstone slab, smooth sandstone, nether brick, smooth sandstone stairs, Cyan terracotta. So we're gonna just 
come over here and uh, I'm just gonna count right next to this first one here. I'm gonna add in light gray terracotta, two blocks of nether brick, three blocks of this uh, green wool. Sandstone slab, it's a smooth sandstone behind it. And a smooth sandstone stairs. Right side up with another brick behind it. And up here, we're pretty much just gonna add in the cyan terracotta just to go through, make sure you can't see anything like that. All right. So now moving down one, we're gonna add in this that right here, sandstone block, green wool, two light gray terracotta, nether brick, and a smooth sandstone block. And we're going to fill pretty much this in with cyan terracotta. So now we're going to add another brick here. Two blocks. Hey, wait a minute. Okay, and then, uh, right, and then we're gonna add in, uh, sandstone, slab, uh, sandstone block with a light gray terracotta, green wool sandstone block and a green wool here green wool all right so now we're gonna add in a dark oak button in front of this right over here let's gonna block another one right on top of this one here and this one right over here we're gonna move this one inside, and we're gonna add in a sandstone slab right there. Okay, never mind. Right, so, uh, okay. Birch button. And a warped button. We're pretty much just gonna add in a three warped buttons here. A birch button, warped button here, birch button, and that is pretty much it for the buttons, I believe. All right. So now we're gonna move. On to the other side, so this is going to be quite a bit harder. And that is because we have a lot more items. Right over here, so... We're pretty much going to be doing all this, so here we're going to so we're gonna add in, uh, start over here, do that same little thing here, with one underneath, one underneath it, add in a 
like grey terracotta. A smooth sandstone. Smooth sandstone. Another brick slab. And I don't know what's behind it. Green wool. Green wool behind that. Another green wool next to it. Two smooth sandstones. Green wool. And uh, we're going to take out this. What is this? It's the oxidized cut copper stairs. One upside down at the top. And right side up at the bottom. With a warped trap door. Close that up here. And under here, we're going to extend this. No, never mind. And then we're gonna add in this green wool, smooth sandstone, green wool, smooth sandstone stairs, this oxidized cut copper stairs, and another green wool. On the bottom, I can't really see it. Here, so it's pretty much gonna be super duper easy. So until like this thing right over here, it's gonna be, it'll pretty much extend by one block, right? Yep, with uh, smooth sandstone and green terracotta. So it's gonna be a smooth sandstone here, and then a green, Terracotta is going to be under it, like there, I think, yep, and then a green glass pane, we're going to have a green terracotta in the, on the inside with a green glass pane, and uh, behind those two, I'm going to need to, oops, that's a mistake, Okay. Ooh. Let's replace that back over there. And what was on that? It was a dark oak button on that. So let's go ahead and replace that. There. There are going to be two green wools on the inside. So now we're gonna add in this birch button, blackstone button, and dark oak button. So we're gonna add in two birch buttons here. Three dark oak buttons. All right, so three dark oak, blackstone, birch. So I don't have the best memory when it comes to this. Then birch, blackstone, birch. Birch. So you have black birch and then blackstone. With a birch. Huh? Oh, I accidentally placed that in the wrong spot. Delete this birch on the birch side. We're going to move this. This is, we're going to move it there like that all right so i believe we are done with the camo hooray so uh now what we're gonna do is uh we're gonna work on the rest of the buttons so i'm gonna take out stone button make it two by two here with one down here that's for the american flag pole over here, add in two here, and then diagonally like that with a birch button right in that, that nook. 
Now we're gonna take out this uh, stone button. Add that right in front of this thing right there. Right, so now we're gonna make the handrails. So take out this uh, warped fence and warped fence gate. Just gonna make two box tall warped fence all the way. All the way to right here before this acacia slab, and we're gonna come here, add in two blocks tall, skip a block, two blocks tall, and then actually two by two, and one sticking out here. Warped fence gates, we're gonna add those in between. Unarguably my least favorite step in making these handrails. Cause like you gotta, their hitbox is so small. All right, and now we're gonna do kind of the same thing, except it's uh, gonna be a little bit different because of that other, cause it's the other side and no two by two, just two blocks tall all the way. Just gonna continue that. Tool right here. I'm gonna add in this warped fence, warped fence gate. All right. This warped fence, warped fence gate, warped fence, warped fence gate, warped fence. I'm just gonna make that. my god hold on a second okay and we're gonna make that go down so it will connect here and then add in warp the fence gates like this that's annoying yeah, I prefer if it would stop dancing like that because it's really annoying right now and uh so yeah so yeah i think that's nearly it so let's just make sure we didn't miss anything here we both know we probably did yep we did of course take out this gray glass pane acacia button and end rod so we're gonna add in a gray stained glass pane here acacia button and rod here. And then uh, we're gonna add in two warped fence gates. Open them up. Skip a block. Another one. Open it up. And uh, yeah, I think. And uh, we're gonna also need. A lever put that here pull it down like that all right so here we go we're gonna come over here let's make sure we got everything looks like we did other side make sure nope we did not no we did we did i changed my mind for those warp those warp that aren't gonna work like i don't like how they look all right so yeah as i promised at the beginning of the as i promised when we were making the cab earlier in the video i would show you guys how to make the one nine four and three So they're pretty easy to make, but first we're gonna get out our loom. 
a light gray banner, light gray dye, red dye, like that. So we're gonna place down our loom here, and a light gray banner, and we're gonna add in a line across the middle vertically. I'm gonna put that back in. Line across, line on the top corner. Put that back in, and a line across the bottom. Put that back in. Then we're gonna take light gray dye and add in a border, like this. So there's our one. Now we're gonna make our nine. So the nine and the four are a little harder. So the nine, we're gonna add in red line going across the left side put that back in and then a gray light gray dye going across the bottom half i'm gonna put that back in and then put in red dye line going across the right side put that back in line going across the top put that back in line going across the middle horizontally put that back in and then a light gray dye border there's our nine. Now the four is super duper similar to the nine. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add in a banner here, make a line going across the right hand side once again, put that back in, line going across like we die line going across the bottom half, put that back in. Now we're going to add in a line going across the right half, put that back in, line going across the middle horizontally, put that back in, and a light gray dye border around it. There's our four. And for our three, it's also, this one's a very simple. Uh, we're going to have a line going across the top that back in, line going across the right side, put that back in, line going across the bottom, put that back in, line going across the middle horizontally, put that back in, and a light gray dye border. Like that, and there's our three. So, yeah, that is pretty much it on how to build UP1943 in minecraft now i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys did make sure make sure to leave a like on this video and i also have other locomotives that you guys can request like the george bush 4141 the up 7400 7400 the 2010 2001 2002 1979 and 1111 I'm planning on releasing 1979 next, so let me know what you guys think. And if and if you guys want me to build anything, just comment it down below. And, uh, yeah. Alright, you guys, so I'm going to show you guys what to modify from the stone brick to deep slate. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to get out deep slate, deep slate brick stairs and slab okay nothing really major so we're gonna come right over, and a gray carpet so we're gonna come right over here delete this stairs here add in a deep slate brick stairs gray carpet on top and we're gonna delete all of these stone brick slabs place them with deep slate brick slabs come over here don't know if I added it. Uh, if I added in stone pressure plates here, or replaced them with gray carpet, and we're gonna add in this deep slate brick stairs. And I know this is my original one. I know in the other one I didn't have this, but I deleted the one that we made for the tutorial. But uh, and here we have. Uh, we're gonna delete, delete, delete. Make these deep slate. Delete these. Delete. Delete all that. Deep slate. Delete this. Make a deep slate. Add a great carpet. 
do the same thing over here. Add in deep slate. Gray carpet. Delete, add in deep slate. Same thing over here. Delete, delete, add in deep slate brick slabs. Uh, pretty much like and here. Here is I'm actually gonna delete because here we're gonna add in a different type. I accidentally deleted that acacia slab that needs to be there. And right over here, we're gonna delete that stone brick, and we're just gonna add in polished diorite slab. And we're gonna delete this, add in deep slate. And uh, I think that's it. Let me just make sure here. Just, just wanna make sure. If you guys see any stone brick, make it deep slate. But uh, yeah, so there we go. And now we have modified it. Alrighty, also, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really have decided just to come in front of the camera once again, and thank you guys so much for watching. Um, it's really a thrill to me that I'm able to branch out and do some Minecraft stuff. Let me know in the future if you guys want any more. Tap me on Instagram. Uh, if you guys build any of these, I'd be happy to see them. And I think that's pretty much all I wanted to say. Oh, and uh, if you guys want to request anything, uh, comments are open for that. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And see you guys in the next one. Bye.